Nitric acid has very strong oxidizing properties and can be used in things like fertilizers and explosives. It can also dissolve things like copper, chromium, iron, and aluminum, but for most metals it forms a metal oxide layer. Nitric acid forms naturally during thunderstorms when the rapid heating and cooling of the lightning bolts creates nitric oxide. That nitric oxide combines with oxygen to create nitrogen dioxide, which then will combine with water to make nitric acid. The most popular way to make nitric acid is by reacting potassium nitrate and sulfuric acid, which creates nitric acid in a byproduct of potassium bisulfate. The only problem with that method is that you have to have sulfuric acid, which is in general hard to find but can be found in some drain cleaners. With this method, the only acid that you need to have is hydrochloric acid, which can be found at most hardware stores as muriatic acid. This method works by reacting copper with any nitrate salt, which creates copper 2 nitrate and a byproduct depending on what nitrate salt you use. You then react the copper 2 nitrate with hydrochloric acid to create copper 2 chloride and nitric acid. I start off by measuring out 80 grams of nitrate salt. Here I'm using ammonium nitrate that I found from some instant cold packs that clearly state that they use ammonium nitrate and not urea. I then add about 15 milliliters of water, and if you're using cold packs like I am, then make sure to filter off all the anti-caking agent. I then add in about 42 grams of copper to the solution. Anything above 32 grams would be optimal, but if you don't have that much copper, then you can put a bit less. Once you are finished with the reaction, you can also filter the copper out and use it again. I then create an ice bath and add in about 25 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. You can also use less hydrogen peroxide or water to get a more concentrated product. Now that I had my copper 2 chloride, I could react it with about 100 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. I then quickly stopper it off and put the receiving end into the hydrogen peroxide. Here, you can see the nitrogen dioxide bubbles. Hydrochloric acid and copper 2 chloride react to create nitrogen dioxide, which is what is bubbling to the top, and then going into the hydrogen peroxide to create nitric acid. It took about two hours for the reaction to finish, but if it still isn't reacting by the fourth or fifth hour, I'd recommend to restart. There is only 10 milliliters of nitric acid. This is because halfway through, I checked 15 milliliters for if it was actually nitric acid. Once we take off the stopper, you can see the brown nitrogen dioxide still forming. I then pour the dilute nitric acid on some copper pennies to see if bubbles form around the pennies and if the liquid turns blue. Bubbles immediately start forming around the copper, and after a couple minutes, the liquid turns blue, and the faces of the copper pennies start to dissolve and become less defined. Hello people, thank you for watching the video, and if you're not that interested in chemistry, then first of all, why'd you watch the full video, but second of all, you should go check out these videos on Tesla coils.